Sports bettors, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to give you a free pick in the NBA Finals game three between the Celtics and Warriors. Super excited for tonight's game. We're going to be betting on a ton of props on that game as well. Um, and then I'm also going to cover a free pick on the Prize Picks app in the NLB that I absolutely love. And then before I get to that, right now, I'm going to share a strategy with you guys that I'm using and a lot of my followers on Instagram are using on prize picks. If you ever want to direct message me, talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, shoot me a direct message on Instagram, and I try to get back to everybody's messages. Um, but a few of my followers directed me to the WNBA props on the prize picks app. There were two players in particular that prize picks had really just made a mistake um, on. And the whole goal of my channel, you guys see me work with these apps to get promo codes, helps you guys get welcome bonuses, helps me get paid for funneling followers to their apps. But don't get it twisted. SBE, Sports Betting Education, this channel is built on one thing, and that is me and you as a group, as a nation of sports bettors, beating the books, beating the player prop apps. It's us versus them. And I will never sell out to one book where I am just working exclusively with them. It's the dumbest thing. I hate to see influencers do that. It is not good for their followers. And they really don't have their followers' best interest when they're telling their followers, hey, get on this app, get on this app. No, get on all of the apps. And then whenever there's value, hammer whatever app has the best value. Well, right now I'm here to tell you WNBA on Prize Picks is the easiest place to make profit in all of sports betting. So last night, I'm gonna call these girls by their first names because foreign last names, I don't know how to pronounce them at all. Easy was extremely, extremely undervalued. Her number was extremely low. She had been putting up uh, fantasy point totals in the 40s and her over under set at 25. She hit her over in the second quarter. I took her over 5.5 rebounds as well. She hit that in the second quarter. She hits this before halftime even gets there. Very easy, everyone was on it. It was an obvious play. Squares, sharps, everyone on the app was on it. Easy winner. The second one is Sabrina. Now Sabrina, over her last three games, had been putting up point totals, scoring uh, in the 20s, and then I think she even got into the 30s in one game. She was averaging about 25 points a game over her last three. Her over-under is set at 14 and a half points. What does she do? She goes out, she drops like 26 points or something crazy like that. Very easy stuff. Everyone's focused on the NBA Finals tonight. Everyone's focused on Warriors Celtics. There are two WNBA games if you find value in any of the props, direct message me over on Instagram. I'm gonna be personally looking through every prop on the Prize Picks app. I will post it on my Instagram story. Um, those props have not came out yet in the WNBA, so we're still waiting on those um, at the time of the recording of this video. So just something to look into. I'm here to help you guys find value. The best value in all of sports betting is Prize Picks WNBA right now. And if you use promo code SBE, when you open a Prize Picks account, they double your initial deposit up to $200. Price picks is legal in 36 states. You can see the gold states on the map and those are the ones that it's legal in. Okay, so for my free pick in the MLB today, I'm going to pair up two heavily correlated props on the Price Picks app. I am going to take the Mets and Padres nerfy. So no run first inning. You're going to take the under half of a run. So no run to be scored there. And that is a play that is juiced at minus 165 on regular sports books. So we're getting tremendous value, just an arbitrage bet on the Price Picks app. Now, when you pair that up with a highly correlated prop in Sean Manea over 36 and a half fantasy points, um, it's, it's a really good thing because assuming the nerf he hits, that means Manea got through the first inning, giving up no runs, getting through the top of the Mets lineup the first time through. If he gets through the first inning without giving up any runs, He's highly likely to get a quality start. He's highly likely to go over his 36 and a half fantasy points. And he has gone over this number in eight of his 10 starts. So he is regularly getting quality starts, which means he's going six innings pitched, giving up three or fewer earned runs. His strikeout numbers are beautiful as well. He is a pitcher that is just going over his fantasy point total in almost every game, eight of 10. So absolutely love these two plays paired together. If the Nerfie can hit, man, we have a really high chance of hitting this plus 200 parlay on the price picks up. I'm putting 200 down to win 600. Now for the Celtics Warriors game, 
as I kind of mentioned, everybody is focused on this game. Everybody's betting on this game. Everybody knows everything about this game, guys. Look, there's, there's nothing that I can bring to your attention in this video that you don't already know. The Celtics stole game one. The Warriors got their revenge. They bounced back game two. Now they're going back to Boston. The Celtics have all of the momentum. They're going to have their home crowd behind them. They did their job in Golden State. They split the first two games. They earned home court advantage. Now they just have to maintain home court advantage, win all their home games. Celtics know that. Celtics fans know that. Um, so for me personally, I'm taking the Celtics and I'm going to lay the three and a half points. The team that has went, won in the playoffs has covered like 95% of the time. So if you like the Warriors, you might want to look at the money line and get yourself plus money versus taking the plus three and a half. Because, I mean, I hope that it's a close game. I'm rooting for it to be a close game. It's way more fun to watch close games than blowouts. But the NBA is just full of blowouts, man. And, uh, you know, I, I hate to say that they should do this. But as a business, you've got to talk to your refs. And you've got to say, hey, look, if a team is down 12, don't call fouls in the team's favor that is up by 12. I mean, I mean the, the way that the refs helped Golden State in game two was insane. And I get it. You want, you want it to be a competitive series, go seven games. But look, if the Celtics are down by 20, 30 points, don't be calling uh, fouls to help Golden State. Like, make it a competitive game. Make the product entertaining to watch. It's whatever. We've got a few more basketball games. We're going to make money on NBA Finals. We've got MLB and WNBA all summer long. And then when the NFL bat is back, it's the best league by far to bet on and to watch as a fan in all of sports. So I'm taking the Celtics minus three and a half. I'm going to take Sean Manea over on fantasy points paired up with the Nerfy in that game. And I'm also going to dive deep into prize picks WNBA right now and interact with you guys over on Instagram in the direct message. And I will post my WNBA plays on my Instagram story. So thank you guys so much for following me. If you got value out of this video, if you're, if you appreciate all the work that I'm putting in, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. We are just getting started building the channel and I'm super excited for what's to come uh, for the rest of this year. So thanks for the support. Good luck with your bets and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's free pick video.